Hey everybody, today we have a review of the Tamiya Super Clod Buster Black Edition RC Monster Truck Kit. Here on the Trick King channel, we have showcased hundreds of clod busters over the years, but we've never really talked about, you know, what it's like to build one in box stock form. And since the Black Edition Clod came out somewhat recently, we figured this is a great time to do it. So you can see here the video of me building this. I built it pretty leisurely over a couple days, and uh, I actually have the full video of this on the Trigger King RC channel here, but I'm speeding it up pretty drastically. But it's a very easy build. Tamiya kits always build easy. The instructions are easy to read. The parts are laid out in good trees and bags. It's just a simple build. You are going to need your own radio system and a servo. And yes, with the Black Edition kit, if you wanna build it box art, you actually don't even need paint, which is great. You'll see a lot of slow motion footage here. The Clod Buster is not very fast. Let's just get that out of the way. It doesn't handle very well either. Since we use the stock steering setup on this, that means that the servo is actually mounted in the center tub and one servo is used for both the rear and front axles. And this has always been problematic. This is really, let's just start here. The weak point of the Clod Buster in stock form is that steering because you're always going to get bump steer. There's just slop everywhere. And generally the rear end, you're gonna get more steering out of the rear versus the front because it's just easier on the truck to turn that way. So I know there's always people who they'll ask, hey, my Clod Buster, I built it stock and the front steering doesn't work. Well, no, you didn't do anything wrong. That's just how the Clod Buster is stock. So you just have to live with it. It's still fun to bomb around on though because it handles very much like an old school monster truck. Of course, it's got that hard body on top of it which makes it quite uh, bouncy with the friction shocks as well. It's just very old school feeling. And I guess that's a good time real fast to talk about the looks of this because the Cloud Buster has been updated a few times over the years. There's a few different versions that have come out. And in my opinion, I actually think this is probably the best looking one since the original Cloud. That black body with the red and chrome decals, it looks fantastic. And of course it has the, the old school style red shocks and the red trim on it, like some of the plastic parts. And then what really tops it off though is the smoked chrome wheels. Those look fantastic. And as far as I know, you actually can't get them anywhere else. You can only get them in the kit here. Another bonus of that black body, as you can see here, whenever I rolled the truck and we rolled it multiple times, uh, it actually hides scratches remarkably well. The other ones, whenever you paint them a different color other than black, of course, you normally get scuffs or other things. You get the scuffs here, but they just, it hides them much better. But I absolutely love how this looks. Now we ran it on 2S and 3S. 3S is not recommended. You're gonna have a lot faster of a clod, but it's going to shut off pretty quick. The ESC does not like that. 2S is where it's at though. You're gonna to want to run the clod on that and it handles it all day. The stock gearing is fun with it still. There's plenty of torque in those 27 turn motors. And if you've got a little set of crush cars or some other small obstacles, it's just a ton of fun to try and tackle things like an actual old school monster truck was. So, I mean, really as far as fun factor on this goes, how much fun you're going to have on it probably depends on how much you like old school monster trucks. I mean, if you love old style 80s monster trucks, I mean the full size version, you're probably gonna love this. The Claw just attacks everything just like one of the big trucks would back in arenas back in the day. It's just so much fun. I actually use fine grit sandpaper to polish the shocks. And if you polish the shock shafts, you actually get smoother action. I'm also not running bump stops either. The problem, if you don't run the bump stops though, those steering arms are gonna knock and I'm already starting to get a little bit of a bend in them, but whatever, I'm gonna upgrade those to um, vertical on axle servo mount soon. So it doesn't really matter. I don't care about bending the steering arms, but just know if you are gonna run it stock, you do wanna leave those bump stops on the shocks. And really that's the biggest gripe I have with the stock clod is Tamiya desperately needs to upgrade it with the axle mounted steering servos right out of the box and get rid of that center servo thing. It's just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work right, I should say. You can tolerate it. It could be fun to bomb around on, but the truck just gets so much more fun when you actually put those axle mounted steering servos. A lot of people, they, they offer the um, aftermarket plates for that and setups for it. So it's not hard to get, but still, if it was like that out of the box, you really wouldn't need to do very much to upgrade it. Um, at least if you want to run it as a retro truck, but as is you definitely need to do that if you're going to run it any amount of time because that's the steering setup on it just doesn't really work right and it doesn't work right for long that's for sure. Final thoughts on the Tamiya Super Cloud Buster Black Edition. I mean it's a Cloud Buster right? There's a lot to love here and if you don't love Cloud Busters there's nothing here that's going to change your mind I suppose but if you watch our channel here you probably love the Cloud Buster and Check this one out here. This one, actually, I've already put on these J Concepts Golden Year tires. They look great with that smoked black or smoked chrome wheel. 
And so the point of what this truck is going to be, why I got this, yes, it'd be fun to talk about for review, but I'm building a retro racer for our Outlaw Retro class. So you are going to see this truck here uh, be converted to a retro class racer. And I'm gonna be doing an article series on this truck, on the conversion. If you've ever wondered what you have to do to make a stock cloud competitive on bigsquidrc.com when I do my Monster Truck Madness column. But you're gonna see this truck eventually in our race series as Rodden Old Apple. Yes, I'm gonna make the wheelbase longer on it. It is gonna run these golden ear tires though, I love these. And uh, it looks, man, it looks great with these wheels. Um, but yeah, so that's the plans for this, guys. You're gonna see this truck around. This is gonna be morphed into, into something else. So, all right guys, hey, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you with more reviews, races, everything here on Trigger King RC.